What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. Right now we are in Santa Margarita, California at an all age manufactured housing community also called Santa Margarita. This is a spectacular Fleetwood CL2444 3D. We have stretched this home to 48 feet long by 24 feet wide. This home is approximately 1150 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. I can't wait to show you the inside. It's an excellent layout. It's considered a front loader, but let's look at the exterior of this home. Right here, we have a 12 inch Eve over here. We've also included all of these shutters. Our customers love these shutters. We've gone with the white body, black trim. We'd love to hear what your favorite exterior color options are. Black and white is very popular. We stayed with the vertical siding, but let's go take a look at the side of this home over here to the left. You can see we have included shutters throughout the entire home where all the windows are. We even added this nice dormer over here above the door. Another option that you can do with the dormer is you can add columns on each side with some lap siding to have an accent color. You could put your columns right there. So tell us what you think. Do you like the dormer? What else would you add to this home? Before we go further, this home is only $249,900. If you're from this area, you know how that is such a great deal. Housing is very limited and very expensive here in Santa Margarita. Space rent is also very affordable at $1,150. This community is in a rent control area which will keep the space rents relatively low. If you wanna learn more about new or pre-owned manufactured homes, and you want to see more tours, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we premiere new videos. We have new home tours coming your way every single week. We also appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. We are here for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section or send us an email at manufacturedhousingexpert at gmail.com. Let's go take a look at the interior of this beautiful Fleetwood manufactured home. This door's locked. We're gonna show you the bedrooms before we show you the kitchen. So make sure you stick it out till the end. As you can see, we can fit a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. We've added this wire shelving, but you can also include cabinet shelving, overhead cabinets, that is a very nice and popular option with our customers. As we head across this hallway, we go into bedrooms two and three. They are both very similar size. You can fit a full size bed or a queen bed with some nightstands in both of the bedrooms, bedrooms two and three. Let's show you a real quick. Take a look at this bedroom two or three option, depending which number you want to name it. Either one of these bedrooms would be a great option for an office as well. We're going to back up here and go down the hallway. We added plenty of lighting over here to the right. We do have the guest bathroom with a walk. I'm sorry, this is not a walk in. This is a tub shower combo. And again, the, I'm sorry, we added the window above the shower. If you watch these videos, you know how I love adding the windows above the showers. It adds a lot more natural light. We also include the can light, which adds more light in the, in the bathroom. A lot of times, if you don't have that can light above the shower, when you're in the shower and you have the curtains closed, it could be very dark. 
tell us what you think about this marble laminate countertop. What is your favorite color countertop and materials? You can go quartz, granite, solid surface. Laminate is the standard entry level countertop. They have many different options to choose from. All right, now we are going into the master bedroom. This is a great size master bedroom. In this master bedroom, you can easily fit a king size bed with a dresser or two dressers, a big flat screen TV. Tell me what you would think if you put a flat screen TV on this wall. What size flat screen TV would you use? Now this bathroom has everything that you need, a his and her sink. If you don't want a his and her sink, then you can add an extra bank of drawers. But as you can see, we have two cabinet doors and a his and her sink with this walk-in 60 inch shower. If you wanna upgrade your shower, you can do tile. They have mosaic tile, they have different options. And over here to the right, we do have the toilet, but check this out. We have a nice size walk-in closet. A lot of times what I recommend I'll is, call that walk <laughs> just kind of, just kind of keep it, just kind of keep it like this. We have a nice size walk-in closet. One thing that I recommend adding in walk-in closets is solar tube lighting. This home does not have the solar tube lighting but that is a great option. All right, let's go see the rest of this house. Oh, before we, before we go down, take a look at this flooring. This is actually linoleum. You would never know unless you get on your hands and knees. Tell us what you think about this linoleum. The linoleum today is a lot more durable than the linoleum that you would have seen five or 10 years ago. A lot of people are worried about the durability, but you do not have to worry about puncturing holes in this linoleum or scratching it. I love that it has the wood grain that really makes it look like vinyl planks. Over here, take a look at this kitchen island. You can easily fit Three bar stools, not four, three bar stools. We added the gray cabinets. Other options you have is white, wood, wood, white, gray, black. You do have several different options for colors. And look at, look at all this extra storage that we have by adding this kitchen island. Take a look at previous videos and home tours that we've done to see the different options that we have for kitchen islands. And over here, again, we do have the laminate countertops and here is the backs. We did the six inch backsplash. You can do mosaic tile, white tile. They offer many different colors. You can even have it go from the countertop all the way to the cabinet. So again, you have so many options when you're ordering a brand new manufactured home. Over here, we stuck with the standard sink. It is a stainless steel stink. I'm sorry, it's a stainless steel sink. Tongue twister day. And we have your single lever faucet. A very popular option is a farmhouse sink with a gooseneck faucet and sprayer. So again, you do have many options. One thing that I like that we've added over here, a lot of times above this refrigerator, you see that shelving up there? We've added that shelving. You can also have cabinets there, but what's really hard for people to use these cabinets because you have to reach so far to get, to open the cabinets and then get whatever's in the cabinet. So you can always, Put some nice decorative stuff above the refrigerator here. Now, let's take a look at the dining room area. A lot of times these homes, I know many families don't need a dining room table, 
but you got plenty of room here for a dining room table. You could easily fit a table of six to eight people. We have this light right there. Tell us what you think about this chandelier. I really like it. Looks a little bit more modern, but everyone has their own opinion and their own taste. So tell us what you think about this right here. As you can see, and I always mention this, I love the open floor plans. It makes the area seem so much larger, but you got plenty of room here for a sectional sofa, a coffee table, end tables, a really nice, over on this wall right here, you could put a very nice uh, TV stand or wall TV stand, entertainment center, so. Oops, let's back up here. I almost forgot. So often we have nine foot flat ceilings, but in this home we did cathedral ceilings. I feel the cathedral ceilings open everything up a little bit more. Again, we love your opinion. Tell us what you think about this home. Keep all the negative comments to yourself, but if you would do something different with the home, we would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching this edition to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. Again, we appreciate all the love you could give by hitting that like button. See you next time.